Hi, in this video, we're going to go over our feature called Data Manager. And Data Manager is where all of that data is going to live after a workflow has been ran or taken. So to access this, all you're going to do is you're going to click Data Manager on the left-hand side in this toolbar. There are two ways to access your data. You can either search by workflow or you can do a global search. If you search by workflow, all you're going to do is search by the name of the workflow. So if I click here, we're going to have this page pop up. We're going to click into this dropdown, and then we'll be able to write in the name and search for that workflow and see all of these sessions that have been taken for this particular workflow. If I wanted to do a global search, then I'm able to search for any information that's been inputted into any of my workflows. So if we wanted to search for a name or an address, then we're able to do that. So if I search for Jane Doe, we can see all the times that it has been inputted into all of our workflows, including that variable name, when it was created, and the actual workflow name. So if I go back to this workflow, with all these sessions, there's a few things that you can do from this page in your data manager. Right here, I can open up to wherever they left off. You can see because this download button is in dark purple and this one is gray, that this session hasn't been completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open on the second one. And it'll prompt me to wherever this user or this session has left off in. We'll click continue and we can continue through our workflow. What else you can do is you can copy that link right here just by clicking this. Let's say um, a client or a customer reaches out to you and they've lost their continue uh, link, then you're also able to send this to them. And it will populate wherever they left off with their information. So this is specific to this session. If they have finished and gone through the entire workflow, you're also able to download those documents directly just by clicking download. And this will download a zip file to your desktop. We can also see all of the variables that have been inserted, including when that session was created or the last time it was updated. One other really cool thing that you can do with your uh, data manager is you can push information from one workflow into another as long as the variable names, like right here where it says client underscore name, is exactly the same. So to do this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to check this purple box right here next to the information that I want to push into another workflow. I'm going to go to this drop down where it says push into another workflow and find the workflow that I want to have that information pushed into. Going to click this purple push into, and it's going to transfer over all of that information for me. A few things that aren't going to transfer over are going to be signature blocks, as well as file upload questions. Other than that, as long as the variable is the same, then we should see all of that information transfer over. We'll click continue. If I had documents attached to this, we would then have those documents um, populate right there. If you have any questions about your data manager, please feel free to reach out to us at help at gavel.io or review any of the information in our learning center.